to the battle for the midterm elections. President Obama kicks off a three-day campaign swing today, trying to motivate his base and hopefully turn around his party's fortunes in November. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes has more from Washington. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Harry. The president's going to have a lot of high-profile company out on the campaign trail. With five weeks to go until the midterm elections, both parties are bringing out their stars. Ladies and gentlemen, Congressman Barney Frank, President Bill Clinton. In Massachusetts Sunday, former president and Democratic heavyweight Bill Clinton rallied supporters on behalf of Congressman Barney Frank. Frank is seeking a 16th term in office. He won his last election by a two-to-one margin. His seat should be considered a safe one. But in this year's anti-incumbent climate, nothing is certain for Democrats. Nobody but nobody in the House has done more to help build back the American dream than Barney Frank. You ought to be there for him on election day. Clinton joins a growing list of political stars who are campaigning on both sides. Michelle Obama will stump for five Democratic candidates in October. Both the first lady and the former president enjoy higher favorability ratings than the current president. On the Republican side, former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin is hitting the campaign trail, along with possible presidential hopeful Mitt Romney. The latest Politico GW battleground poll shows Americans believe a Republican-led Congress would do a better job than the president handling job creation, a key issue in the campaign. Voters beware. It's not and with job. time running out to turn things around, some Democrats are fighting conservatives by flooding the airways with attack ads aimed at opponents' tax records and personal lives. Even companies involved in the but both sides can play at that game, and one veteran ad watcher tells me things are getting nastier faster than in any previous campaign season. Harry? Nastier faster. Nancy Cordes, thank you very much.